Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today we're doing a VR accessory review for your MetaQuest 2 headset. Today we're looking at the battery head strap by Geek VR. This retails on their website for $100. You can use my promo code Brian Sloan, all capital letters, for an extra 10% off. I have seen it as well on Amazon and on AliExpress, but the availability kind of depends on the time, so I will link below where I've seen those, and you can check to see where you can find the best price. Uh, in this video, we will unbox this. I will show you how to assemble it. I will show you what it looks like on and I will give you my full review of it in the end. If you haven't checked out my other uh, VR accessory reviews I encourage you to do so. I will link that playlist below so you can check those out. But uh, let's jump into this one. Alright here is the box that came in the mail. Looks like this is yeah, the one that slides open. All right, so let's install this here. It looks like this piece slides in behind. And you'll hear it clip in. And this piece, actually, we can have the facial interface on still because it doesn't have a strap like some of them do. And then those side pieces just slide right in on the sides. I kind of like the sliding design more than the clip version because sometimes I feel like you got to really put a lot of pressure on the clip versions when you're taking them off or on. Then we also have our battery here, our magnetic swappable battery. with our charging cord. It's a USB-C to USB-C cord that comes with it. Another little user manual for that as well. On the top is your USB-C and a button. It's actually showing a green light. And then on the bottom, you can see the magnetic strip there. That slides right in. That slid right in uh, pretty fast, pretty easy. There you go. You, can, you heard the beep, and you can see that it is charging there. That's a pretty, pretty quick install for uh, for this uh, head strap. I'm going to use it. I'll show you me using it, and we'll see how it goes. All right. So I've had a chance to use this a little bit, and now I want to give you my review of it. First of all, I want to uh, just plug it in here all the way. And once I plug that in, then it will actually try to turn on. As you hear with that beep, it's going to turn on the headset and try to charge it. It's got a green light on up there. So it's currently charging my headset. I can see it there. And here we go. Here's what it looks like on there. Sorry, I just bumped it in the back there. So you can see here the different sides. You can tilt it up a little bit, tilt it back down. This halo strap really takes that pressure off the front of the face. I can barely feel it there. It's just kind of resting on, on my cheekbones and on my face there. And you can see, I haven't really done this with any other ones. This is what I call the headbanger challenge. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's nice and tight. It's got a nice dial in the back there that you can use to adjust that on and off. Um, so let's go through um, some pros and some cons to it. Some pros are, I do like the comfort level of it actually. When I first tried it on, I thought it put a lot of too much pressure on the top of my head, but as I played with it a little bit more and adjusted it more to um, kind of my head shape, I found that it really um, is quite comfortable. Um, I do like that um, the knob on the back is easy to turn. Um, and I really do like the uh, battery. So as I mentioned in the, in, in the intro, this is a 5,000 mAh battery, which extends your playtime about two to three hours. It's a little bit less than some of the competitors, um, such as Kiwi. Um, I've tested another one by Pesqueda. That one lasted quite a lot longer. But the pro to this one is that you can easily just take it out, it's magnetic, and put it back in which means that if you had two of these and you can buy an extra one of these for about 50 bucks, then you could have one charging, you could put it in when one dies, swap them out as you're playing, 
it's not going to interrupt your play time, and then you can just continue to play. And so with that, you're technically able to play for as long as you want without having to plug it in while you're playing if it dies, like some of the other ones. This is also is a good safety feature as well, because then you can see if you can see the actual battery and uh, see how it's doing. This also acts as just a power bank, so you could use this as a power bank to charge your phone, charge anything else if you're out and about and you needed a sleek little charger. So that's that's a big bonus to this one. And then with the magnetics, it easily slides in and stays um, quite firm in there. The beeping is a little bit annoying, <laughs> um, but overall. Um, Pretty good. Some cons that I don't um, that I wanted to bring up with you. I find that the padding itself, although it looks very thick, I find it to be a little bit um, not as dense as I would hope. I guess once I put that onto the back of my head, it kind of squishes right down to you know to the frame right there. If it was a little bit denser foam, I think that would be an improvement for it. And the other con that I don't like is this cord. When you don't have it plugged in. You can see it just dangling there. A lot of other head straps that I've used that have the cord coming out the side have something right here that can hold it, um, not only when it's plugged into it, but then you could also double it back and have it there if you're not planning to um, have that plugged in. Because sometimes you just want to use a head strap because it's comfortable. This is comfortable. I might want to use it, but I might not want to always have it be plugged in um, all the time. So those are my two uh, little cons. In terms of price point, if you can find it on sale like I did on AliExpress, that's a steal. Um, it's uh, regularly very comparable to Kiwi and Bobo and a bunch of other ones like that. So in terms of that, um, for the hot swappable battery, that's a big plus. Comfort wise, it is very comfortable. If you like the halo strap, this is um, a comfortable halo strap design. Very sleek, very simple. I, li I like that a lot about it. So I'll link below where you can find this. I'll link um, both their website um, and AliExpress. I'll link where you can get the extra battery if you're interested in that as well. And if you haven't checked out my other VR accessory reviews, please do that and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching this one and we'll see you next time on Brian Sloan Artist.